Uh, so yesterday, after a little bit of disappointing news, I found myself feeling, uh, well, really, really exhausted, and I, and I had been wanting to make this nourishing dish for a while and experiment and play around. So I played around and made a little, uh, an item here. I took, um, about a half stick of butter and a full stick of, uh, we didn't have more butter, so I just used, like, it wasn't this, but it was, like, a margarine stick. So, like, one and a half sticks of some sort of butter-like stuff, melted in, uh, about half a bag of the marshmallows. You've, if you've seen my videos, you've seen me playing with marshmallows. Um, I ate about half with raisins. We finished the raisins, and I was left with marshmallows. It was about half, maybe a little more than half that big old bag of marshmallows. Melted into the butter. Um, and then added in a full, large can of pumpkin puree, unsweetened. I don't know how big the large cans are. Do I have, I have it here. Size 29 ounces, one pound, 13 ounces, 822 grams for two pies. <sighs> Question to anyone listening or watching this How do you make a graham cracker? What makes a graham cracker a graham cracker? And why is it called a graham cracker? Okay, back to this. Um, melted in the marshmallows, uh, added in the uh, pumpkin puree. Uh, I was able to, I cooked over the stove here with this and it did pretty well. Um, uh, added in a little more sugar, uh, some salt, uh, a teeny bit of ginger and a fair bit of cinnamon. Um, maybe a little more than a teeny bit of ginger, but teeny bit relative to the whole size, a uh, fair bit of cinnamon. And I was kind of cooking it a little on low heat the whole time here. And then tossed it in the oven uh, at 375 for half an hour, and I fell asleep while I was cooking. Thankfully, our oven turns off. Um, and so it just sat in the oven after that. And it came out, the, the top layer it came, out, came out great, delicious. The top layer is a nice sort of pumpkin pie-like consistency. It's definitely more like a pudding underneath. Um... Mostly what I like, besides it being, you know, sweet pumpkin-y goodness, is it's got a pretty good texture. I think the, the marshmallows help solidify and create kind of like a... Um, a nice, stiff, rich, gooey texture that I don't get if I'm just using, like, pumpkin stuff. Oh, and I added in two eggs. Two eggs uh, were, were whipped in, so the eggs probably also help with a little bit of texture. I could see adding more eggs. I could see baking it, maybe starting at a higher temperature, lowering it down, and maybe going for longer than 30 minutes. I would certainly wouldn't mind seeing this sort of top texture go further down, maybe even all the way down. It'd be interesting if you could get, like, a really... I don't know. I'm not sure what's possible, but... I mean, it was good before I baked it. Like, it was good as just, like, a hot, creamy pudding-type dish. Um... Before I added the eggs, with the eggs in it, less desirable, I'd still eat it. So, like, everything in the oven is completely up to up to choice. There's no wrong way to do it in the oven. Um, I'll have to see what it's like to overdo it in the oven. But there's really no underdoing it, so you can just play around. Maybe, like, start really, really low for a long time, and then maybe end hot to get, like, a crispy something on top. Um, after Jerry Sapernetti's show last night, I came home and made myself a delicious pizza thing. I'll make a video about that later, maybe. Um, I had some of this after the pizza, maybe about a third of what's here. And I set aside two bowls, one for my mom and one for somebody. Dad might want to bite. He's not doing sweet things so much, and these are quite sweet. Not too sweet. Really, really good. Um... I think this goulash might go to the green. Might have a little more of it. <laughs> might share a bite with Dad to see what he thinks. It's getting pretty old and weird. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm about to head out to the library and the gym and maybe to a plasma 
selling service. Uh, I prefer to donate blood, but I really could use some more financial instruments. Um, so I think I might sell my plasma today and look towards donation of blood in the future when the money be flowing. <sighs> All right. Cheers, everybody. I hope you're having a great Thursday, October. Where are we at? Here? Is that right? Yeah. All right. Cheers.